So just looking at a radio control helicopter, a collective pitch with the main motor and tail rotor disconnected. So applying throttle just moves the swash plate up so that's going to apply pitch at all angles to the main rotor and then adjusting the side control and moves the swash plate in at particular angles so we can see that and what's interesting is this is rate of change so just applying a bit of force it moves slowly if I apply a lot of force or a lot of correction it moves quickly and then back again and what's interesting is if I push it to one side and hold it one, two, three. I then have to hold it in the opposite direction one, two, three before the integrator unwinds so I can conclude that that's an integral control system and then looking more closely you can see that there is like an absolute correction so you've got the main rate of change correction but then there's a finer grain control where you just move it slightly and that moves slightly as well on top of the integral control and then so that's the cyclic control and then just moving the the boom slightly I'll just get this level you can see that the servo corrects so so there we go, the servo's moving round as I move this up I'm going round just move it down so that's gyro stabilization which is it seems to be quite f fine pitched in relation to the cyclic control because presumably it's just to hold it at whatever level it's supposed to be at so it doesn't need to apply a huge amount of correction it's going across you can you can see the servo and you can see the push rods moving slightly but it's quite difficult to see the correction on the swash plate by eye but it is moving so okay moving throttle you can see there's no correction Oh, there's something actually it's trying to correct anyway so I click so there you go